Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to route application audio in OBS out of your live stream or Twitch VOD so that you can avoid copyright strikes and still listen to whatever music you want to. Or if you want, uh, say, your Discord audio to not come through your Twitch stream, you can do that as well. And you may have seen, uh, I have another video that I previously, previously released on how to do this using virtual audio cables. And I did it with virtual audio cables to avoid the use of having to run additional software like Voice Meter Banana. But with the recent update, version 28 to OBS, that came out at the end of August this year, they have added the ability to directly route the audio from applications right in OBS itself. You don't need any extra software and you don't need any additional virtual cables. It's that easy. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So here we go. So the first thing we want to do here is whatever um, scene you want on, to be on, go to there. And in your sources here, you are going to add a application audio capture, which is still in beta currently. Um, so what you're going to want to know before you add this as well is whatever application you want to capture the audio for and route, you need to have it open before you're able to select it in uh, the selection options here. So for this one, I'm going to go um, call this Spotify. Uh, I'm just calling it Spotify audio because I have a different source called Spotify already. But for the purpose of this, we will just call it this. And then, so now window. The cool thing about the uh, audio capture feature here is not only does it let you capture uh, application specific, but it will let you capture window specific as well. So each one of these are windows that I have open right now in Microsoft Edge. So I can manually can route the audio from each specific tab if I wanted to. But for right now, we are going to do Spotify. So we'll go Spotify Premium. And then the window match priority, one thing I've noticed is uh, if you have it on window title must match, it will give you some grief there because uh, your Spotify window title will change based on what song is playing currently. So for this one, uh, I found the best to be match title. Otherwise, find window of the same executable. So Spotify.exe, regardless of what it's playing, it should still pick it up. And we will go with this one. So we select OK. So now we've got our Spotify audio down here, which I will show you. Um, we'll just play some music here pretty quiet. So now you can see um, at the bottom here, it's coming through my Spotify audio as well as my desktop audio. Um, so if we want to have the Spotify audio not go to our uh, Twitch VOD, the first thing you have to do as well is go to your settings, go to output, and in your stream settings here, you have your audio track, which is for your live streams, and your Twitch VOD track, which I have set on track two. So anything we route to track two will not show up in my Twitch VOD. But my music, I like to listen to live so that um, anyone watching can still hear it. So set Twitch VOD to track two, we click OK. Now uh, we'll pause this. Uh, and then Spotify audio down here, we can go right click, go advanced audio properties. So over here on the right is where you select your tracks. So if we uncheck track two right here, that will make it so that uh, none of our Spotify audio will show up in the Twitch VOD. So we'll uncheck that like that and close that. Now say we also wanted to do Discord because uh, let's say we were playing a game like Among Us and you didn't want uh, the chat, if they're playing as well, you don't want them to be able to hear people in Discord so that you can say fake people out. What we can also do is add another application audio and we'll call this Discord audio. Okay, and we'll have it be discord.exe and we'll go with this bottom option again. Okay, now with our specific Discord audio, 
um, we can go to advanced audio properties. And if we uncheck the box right here, now it'll sh still show up in your VOD so that if anyone goes back to watch it or you go to clip your VODs, you can see that uh, you'll still be able to hear the Discord chat, but it won't show up in your live video, so it won't affect your gameplay at all with any of your friends and the people in chat playing. So one other thing I noticed when recording this video is uh, even though we were separating Spotify out of track two for the VOD, uh, my Spotify was still coming through my desktop audio channel, which was still going to the Twitch VOD and live stream. So I want to show with everyone how to prevent this as I feel like this is going to be a common question. Um, so what you're going to do, go to your settings go to your audio and what you have to do is make sure you have no desktop audio or desktop audio two device set these both as disabled because you're going to have to add every application individually that you want uh, live stream or VOD to hear. So for example, uh, once we set these both to disabled, then we can go in here, set our Spotify to not show up in the Twitch VOD like we did set Discord to not show up in the live track like we did. And now uh, what I did is I added Warzone here for an example, because if I wanted my stream to hear Warzone without having desk, uh, all of my desktop audio on, they wouldn't hear my game by default. So I added, added Call of Duty Modern Warfare here, and I did it the exact same way, uh, same settings, so that it's... Um, match title, otherwise find window of same executable. So it should work for modern warfare.exe, which Warzone and modern warfare, add those in manually. And then in here, you can um, also set what tracks you want your Warzone to be on. And we want that to be on all. So and we want these to be on monitor off. What this does is monitor off is just uh, when you can hear it. If you have it set to monitor output, it's going to replay through your speakers and out to the stream. And if you have monitor only mute output only, you're going to be able to hear it. Uh, it will be muted on output to stream as well. So I don't know if you can try muting the output with your Spotify audio and seeing if that works. You'll have to play around. But this is how you would get it so that your tracks don't come through your desktop audio and still show up in your VOD as well. You split every application, including your games. And then just to avoid everything being so cluttered here, what I would do is add a group and call it um, something like audio grouping because we don't want it to be cluttered. So we can put all of our extra audios settings that we've added our manual audio routing in there and just close that so that all of our other sources are here and we can go into the audio routing when we need to and this is also helpful as well because here you can manually control the volume of each application so say spotify uh, you like the level that it's at but stream says you're too quiet compared to music and they can't hear you you can manually just turn this bar down right here so that it'll lower the volume of Spotify on stream, or you can lower your game volume manually without actually having to change all your in-game settings or same with Discord. So I hope that this tutorial helped you and good luck with your audio routing. And please do remember that even though you are routing music out of your live stream or Twitch VOD, it still doesn't give you permission to play copyright audio and you will, you can still get uh, a copyright strike for that if you do get caught. So please uh, be careful or just don't use copyright music to begin with and enjoy.